Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today I've got a slew of massive stories, starting with the PS5 being priced at well over $500, two new Ryzen CPUs, Ryzen 5000 is enhanced, and 4th gen Ryzen supports your old motherboard. But first, check out today's sponsor, Drop. Formerly known as MassDrop, a group buy website with amazing deals on PC hardware. It's free to sign up, and if you do it today, you'll get $20 off your first drop-made item. So head to the link in the description below. Okay, it's news time, man. First up for today, in a recent report by Bloomberg, Sony is apparently planning to produce far fewer PlayStation 5s in the first year when compared to last gen. According to Bloomberg sources in the supply chain, Sony told them that they expected to make 5 to 6 million units in the fiscal year ending on March 2021, while the PS4 actually sold 7.5 million units in its first two quarters. According to this, a big reason is the price tag, and what's really wild is that game devs who've been developing titles for the next-gen console are expecting it to be as high as $550. According to Bloomberg's analysts, that's likely due to increased component costs. Basically, the PS5, while obviously quite powerful, could be more expensive than ever. And given Microsoft has similar specs with some components better on the Xbox and others better on the PS5, their upcoming console will likely be a similar price. Basically, at the end of the day, these could be some seriously expensive consoles. One analyst thinks Sony will take a loss and price it at $450, which wouldn't be too bad considering the Xbox One launched at $500, but remember that's because it came with a Kinect. Either way, this clearly won't be a cheap generation, but hopefully it won't be on the highest end of those expectations. Next up for today, it looks like AMD isn't done with their Ryzen 3000 CPUs. In a tweet by the well-known and trusted leaker Momomo underscore US, he found two new Ryzen CPUs the Ryzen 3 3100 and 3300X, which are obviously more budget-friendly chips. According to this tweet, both are 65-watt, 4-core, 8-thread CPUs, with the 3100 getting a boost of 3.9 GHz and the 3300X getting a very impressive boost of 4.3. Whether they'll be OEM-only parts like the 3500 is honestly unclear, but either way, it should make for some great entry-level PCs. Let's just hope it comes soon. Speaking of Ryzen CPUs, while we suspected as much, it wasn't until just recently that AMD actually confirmed that their Zen 4 based processors, which will include Ryzen 5000, is based on a 5 nanometer process node. That of course would likely mean TSMC's 5 nanometer process as the company has made pretty much everything for AMD so far. Well, apparently that long term relationship is beginning to bear fruit for AMD. In a story originally reported by Chain News, TSMC has developed a quote, enhanced version of their 5 nanometer node specifically for AMD, who's ordering no less than 20,000 wafers per month. Now, really quickly, I will say that I was a bit apprehensive because it seemed they could have meant the production capacity instead of some more powerful note. But I asked some Chinese speakers on the GamerMail Discord and they seem to think enhanced is what it means. Something like a 5 nanometer plus type node, but understand it may not mean that. Anyway, remember that 5 nanometers is built using EUV, and according to TSMC, it actually gets a massive 80% increase in density over their first generation 7 nanometer process. And not long ago, AMD took off the plus from their Zen 3 roadmap, which according to them is because they didn't intend the plus to mean TSMC's 7 nanometer EUV. Basically, Zen 4 would likely be going from TSMC's first 7 nanometers to not only 5 nanometers with an 80% density increase, but even an enhanced version of 5 nanometers. And the good news doesn't stop there, as Tech Power Up found a really interesting piece of information while going through the young laptop company XMG's recent Reddit post. In it, the company is discussing their new Apex 15 laptops, but right here you can see he mentioned something really interesting. According to them, the upcoming desktop Ryzen 4000 processors will be compatible with B450 motherboards, which means AM4 will continue to be the socket for next generation CPUs. Just like last gen, it would require a microcode update, but that's definitely great news for early Ryzen adopters. So far, it's really been up in the air, since AMD promised support until 2020, but whether that meant it would end in 2020 or go through it was honestly tough to say. That is, until now. 
And for those curious, while the poster only mentioned the B450, that's just because the XMG15 uses that chipset, so it will likely support the first gen 300 series as well. And if that ends up happening, it would mean AMD kept support for motherboards through four generations, which is honestly impressive. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for next gen Ryzen CPUs or are you waiting it out for 5th gen? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to join the GamerMail Discord server. And as always, have a great day.